afternoon and welcome to your favorite radio program, Meeting People, Visiting Cities. Today we have a really special guest. Anna Pellegrin has come to our program. Hi Anna and welcome. Hello Alicia, thank you for inviting me to your program. Oh, you're welcome. So tell us Anna, as the most important guide in Russia, what city do you recommend us to visit in first place? Oh, it's difficult to choose, but I think Moscow is the most touristic city in Russia. It, it has a lot of monuments that you can visit, and it's also the city where I work. Wow, you didn't even think about it twice. That's right. Moscow has been the capital of Russia since the Middle Ages. It has four international airports. It also has one of the biggest railways of the world. Tokyo has the biggest one. And it's the one who, which carries more people a year. That's really interesting. People sometimes have the stereotype of Russian as serious people and always wearing a coat. Is that right? <laughs> okay, we wear coats almost all the year, but we are not that serious. I mean, I don't consider myself as serious as people think. I know, sometimes people think that Moscow is an ugly city whose buildings look all the same, but that's not true. I've seen St. Basilius Cathedral and I really like it. It makes me realize that cathedral doesn't have to mean all brown buildings with bells. Obviously, St. Basilius Cathedral is my favorite place in Moscow. Well, the Red Square in general. Sometimes I go there and I have a coffee with my friends while we admire the gorgeous sightseeing. That reminds me. Before you came, I made my own research about your hometown, Moscow, and the big amount of museum that you have really amazed me. Well, we have the National History Museum. Personally, I found it really interesting. I love that building. The concept between dark red and white is, I don't know, I just love it. Now talking about history. We know that Russia had a really important place at the Second World War and that in the first one it didn't want to participate. But what happened in Moscow as a city? Well, after the Russian Revolution, Moscow turned into the capital of the Soviet Union. And during the big protective war, the Red Army had his official center in Moscow. You're young, but from the point of view of your parents or your grandparents, how did they leave that situation? Well, in the first year of Lenin as, a pre as the president of the government, my granddad got arrested because a neighbor denounced him for feeding some health in the public school where he worked as a teacher. And my parents were educated in a communist way. Oh, that's awful. And how's the prison situation in Moscow? I think that we are taking more and more part in the European Union and modernization of our ideology too and our costumes. The only thing that I don't like is the big difference between rich and poor people. I mean, while a Ferrari is going down the streets, 20 old beggars are begging for some food. We have already talked about the general aspect of Moscow and about it is already. But our radio followers want to know something about the most famous monuments in Moscow. For example, the Red Square. Okay, let's talk about that. The Red Square is the principal square of the city. And you can find you can find there the Basilica of San Basilios and the National History Museum. Oh, do you know if there is any special exposition at the museum this week? Well, it's not that kind of museum. You can't find any exposition. It's, it has always the same art staffs because it just shows the history of Moscow from the past to nowadays. Oh, Moscow is such a lovely city. I would love to go there. But I never have time for it. Maybe this summer I could convince my boss and <laughs> have some holiday. I've heard so many good things about Moscow. Everybody recommends it to me. I've been looking forward to going there for so long. 
but I have so many responsibilities and I have a commitment with my followers or uh, isn't it guys? and if I go there I might get lost I know myself and it could happen to me well, I don't know what I'm going to do we will see what happens I know, you know that, that if you come to visit it, you just have to call me and I can give you a complete touristic guide around the city. Thank you, Anna. I won't forget that. We have no more time. Thank you for talking to us, Anna. You're welcome, Alicia. Bye. Bye, Anna. And don't miss our next program, which is about Rome.